All right, everyone, I'm back. I'm sorry if the lighting changed. My battery died, so I had to go charge it real quick. I'm gonna finish this video as quickly as I can. This is an Alex unit from Ikea. It's just five drawers, and that is what my uh, L shape is actually sitting on top of. Which, In the first drawer, if you open it up, I just have a bunch of storage bins. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I love organization, and I love to have things in their place. <laughs> so to start, uh, this is coasters. I'm really funny because I do not like having anything on my desk like any kind of water bottles uh, glasses even like food bowls or anything if it's not on a coaster i'm like so crazy about that i do not want my desk messed up so i'm kind of like crazy coaster lady over here moving over this is a bin i got from the dollar store it just has my airpods and puffball back here again from the dollar store i has my calculator for budgeting and then this is the remote that controls my rgb lights under my desk so if you can see they're blue right now but if i say let's change them to pink or purple green i think that's what that's supposed to be blue things like that so my fiance actually put them all underneath my desk she loves lights and things and i think it's really really pretty and really cool excuse the poor cable management i the cables look horrid back there but we just haven't gotten around to fixing them so it is what it is so that's what this is for in this little uh three bin i have my most used planner eyes if you will so i have my white out um this is double-sided tape adhesive tape tweezers for using stickers these are those like deco pens from the happy planner in the way back, I have like chapstick and extra hair ties. And then back here, I have uh, extra pens and like erasers. So that's just like the most grabbed for things. That's why it's up top. Moving down in this drawer, these are like your typical post-it notes. These are like the smaller sizes. And then in the way back, I have little page flags and other sticky notes. I love using these for pre-planning and I love having them here. Over here is where I keep my little mini Happy Planner sticker pads. And then in this bin, I have a quick notebook if I need paper. And then over here, I have more sticky notes that are just from various places. I think from like Hobby Lobby, stuff like that. I love the storage in these drawers. And what I love the most is that they're affordable. All three of these things that you see are from the dollar store. I mean, usually they come in multiple packs. Like I think this one came in a pack of two. And this little guy right here was actually in the food container section. I just took the lid off and it fits these little sticker pads perfectly. And then in the way back, we have extra uh, sticky pads and note notebooks and again, more notebooks. So that's why they're all the way in the back. The next drawer houses all of my extra Happy Planner filler paper and things like that. So on the right here, again, this is the, another dollar store bin. I have my different pouches from Simply Gilded, my Planny Pack from Erin Condren, another thing from Erin Condren I won in a giveaway. And then um, over here, all you need is a love and a cat. I love this. Uh, this is actually one of those like really cheap um, picture holders. What am I trying to think of? Uh, that you'd put like pictures in. I got this from Michaels for like 50 cents and it actually has all my old stickers in it that I've gathered like from different places that I've been. And this works wonderful for holding all of that. And then in the bottom is just extra notebooks. Back here is your filler paper. Let's take this out so you can see it. Um, it's extra filler paper for the Happy Planner, classic size. And then moving up, I stole this idea uh, from somebody that I saw who did this. If I can remember, I'll put her, put her name below. Uh, but she actually connected all of her uh, dividers and folders and anything that basically could be connected to discs, she put on discs so that it had better organization. So these are just like extra covers, folders, um, zippy pouches, things like that. And that was so smart and has made this area so much more clean. Moving over, these are just extra inserts for my traveler's notebooks. And then over here are my half sheets and then my uh, mini, like really mini, a uh, little, uh, like really skinny, what are they called? Like lists, like half sheets. I don't even know what this stuff is called, y'all, but from the ARC system at Staples. And then all of this together is in a paper organizer that I've had for quite some time now. I didn't know what to do with it, but then I put it in here and it makes this organization so much better. Moving on, my fourth drawer has all of my tools. That's what I like to call them. So we have my ARC. Um, hi, hi puppy. Hi puppy, puppy. <laughs> this is Harley. Oh, and there's Nani. <laughs> but this is Harley, this is our Rottweiler. She's four years old. Harley, 
Go lay down. Go lay down. I can't do a video if your nose is in the way. So this is my uh, tool drawer. So like I said, it has my arc hole puncher in here. This is my label maker from Epson. I've had this forever and I love it. I love it. I use it for everything. I label everything. So this is uh, the label maker that I've been using. Down there are my Cricut cutting boards. This is an A5 hole punch back there. And Sounds silly, but these are tissues. I'm like crazy about tissues. I have to have tissues not just for my nose But for also cleaning things wiping things. I like have to have tissues and then over here are uh, extra bags for the lots of style trash can that you see on the other desk Okay, you guys wait for this. I love this hack. So I put the tissues here and if I close the drawer I'm able to pull them from in here. So sometimes when I need a tissue, it's like perfect but they're like hidden if I need them to be hidden. But if I need one, I can literally just reach in here and pull. How like awesome is that? I like d um, discovered that and I am like obsessed. <laughs> and then finally, the final drawer down here is like what I call my techie drawer. It has like chargers and uh, my glasses and cords, my tripod, my camera, which is usually in there. Honestly, techie stuff. I think my happy planner hope or my happy planner punches back there. But most of the most of this really is just like like a speaker like tech stuff and these bins i think i got from walmart in clearance and they might have been like two dollars so definitely affordable storage um you just got to look around for it and then finally backing up underneath my desk i have a recycling bin um another bin and then that is full of paper <laughs> another diploma that we never hung because like i said we just didn't really have the space and then that is my work schedule just on a bulletin board in the back back there Moving over, this is my planner cart. So I'm gonna quickly walk you through this. On the top are all of my stickers from the Happy Planner. Um, I have labeled them, uh, other than like the ones that they started to do that finally, but I've pretty much labeled them all. And then these uh, ones right here are like the accessory books that have like half the sticky notes and half stickers, but they fit in here so nicely, which is why they're in here. And I have them organized by, by functionality. So these are like colorful boxes and planner basics. This is like productivity and like healthy heroes, like fitness. And then these ones are more of like my wrong wrong and like squad goals um, and like my d decor ones. So I have them organized that way. That's why they kind of look disorganized, but to me, I know where they are. <laughs> and then what they're in is those new Happy Planner sticker boxes. I love these. I just love this style. I'm very into neutral. Uh, so I picked up the neutral one and it is so pretty. It houses these so perfectly and really fits in my planner cart. I know that's what they intended to do with them, but I highly recommend these. I want to say they were $15, but I got a coupon with them and I think I got this for like $6. So such a steal and so worth it. Moving over, this is just one of those like mini Sterlite bins. I like love and hate this thing. I love it because it does what it needs to do, but I hate it because it's so ugly, but whatever. <laughs> so inside I have my Simply Gilded sticker pouch. So this opens up and it holds uh, miscellaneous stickers from shops and I'm obsessed with this. This is so beautiful, you guys. Oh, it feels so good. Back here I have a Simply Gilded notebook from another one of the boxes and I'm not going to go through all of this, but this just basically houses extra stickers that are not Happy Planner, like Agenda 52, and then if we keep going, we have like the thinner Happy Planner stickers. And then in the very back, I have like scrapbook paper that I use sometimes in my planners or for various things. So all that fits really nice in here, which is why it's in here. But I'm hoping to find a different solution because like I said, I don't love this bin, but I also don't want to spend money on a new one. So conflicted. <laughs> Moving over, my iPad, which is right here, my iPad Pro. And then this little notebook I leave here. So... Each week I make a to-do list and um, I leave it here and I check off what I need to get done. Moving down to the second shelf, I have all of my planners that I'm using for 2020, so my planner lineup. Over here, this is just one of those portfolio covers from Erin Condren that I put my laptop in when I'm taking it on the go. This is my uh, catch-all for 2020. This is just a deluxe cover. And inside is my classic dashboard homebody. And I love this thing. So I'll take this out and put it on my uh, desk when I am planning each week. This is just a um, horizontal and I use this for journaling. This planner is for our wedding planning. So uh, my fiance bought me the uh, like wedding extension pack. And so we do all our wedding planning in here and I just put it on these really pretty discs. And then finally, this is our recipe keeper. 
Over here, we just have a zippy pouch and it says monthly receipts. So that's where I store all of our monthly receipts when we have to budget. And then finally, on the left over here, we have uh, this little basket. I'm not even sure where I got this from. It's supposed to hang, but I just use it in here because it fits so nice. And this right here, I got from, I want to say, Michael's. And it's supposed to go on your planner as like a pen holder, but I actually use it for my Apple Pencil and my stylus for my uh, iPad. And so I just keep that in here, but I'll move it. In this little basket, I just have uh, mini Happy Notes, a mini notebook I use for clinicals, just extra stickers, stuff like that. So that's what's on my second shelf. And then finally, in the bottom, I'm not gonna go through this basket, but this just has a bunch of like um, cameras, filming equipment, tripods, all that good stuff is shoved kind of down there. Organized, shoved, but down there. What I love about this cart is it's magnetic, so you can actually put stuff on it. So over here, I just got these from the dollar store, and they're all over my cart, and they just have different things, like paper clips, um, binder clips, all that kind of stuff, and I can just move it literally wherever I want. So right now, they just tuck over there. And then these little clips I got from Ikea, and they just literally sit right on the edge, and they're just markers, expo markers, highlighters, just extra stuff that I reach for. All right, guys, I'm back. For whatever reason, my camera keeps dying, so I'm gonna try to get through the rest of this as quickly as I can before my battery dies for good. So, <laughs> we just went through my cart and pretty much my entire desk. So if you turn to the left, whoop, we have this section over here. This oak desk we got for like 10 bucks. This is the original desk that was in here that I was using everything with. I upgraded to Ikea, so it's over here just as my kind of crafting desk. This is our Epson printer. On top of it is this super cute little succulent uh, plate. Just has a paper clip on it right now. <laughs> and then a mail organizer that someone gave us. I'm not even sure where this came from, but I'm pretty sure it was free. And it just holds mail that I still need to file, receipts, things like that. Moving over, this is actually my Cricut Explore Air. On top of it is just a dust cover because it can get pretty dusty in here. Um, and I have the pretty like mint aqua color one. It's just a cover and it has some little pockets on the side. Going up the wall up here is like my Cricut station. So that's just a banner that I got from the Target dollar spot. Moving down, this is a paper uh, bag holder from Ikea, but it works great to put all your different vinyl in. So I love that. Super cheap and affordable too. Moving down, this is one of those uh, wire holders type of things that have been out. I actually got this from Aldi. So if you have an Aldi by you, they do sell stuff like this and it was way affordable and it came with all the pieces that you see here, like all the gold pieces. And I wanna say it was like $12, $15, very affordable. So I just have uh, the Simply Gilded uh, calendar heart that's up here, a cute little pineapple succulent plant on a little stand. Down here, I have stickers that say, of course I need more stickers. I got this uh, from Marshalls, so cute and it does have quite a lot of stickers in it. Moving over, this is our um, in Instax Polaroid camera. A picture of me and the filming crew when I was on TLC. A little die cut that says hustle and then another little die cut that actually, I put this through my laminator separate but it got moved and they all ended up like layering on top of each other. So that is not what it was supposed to look like. That's a total error, but it actually turned out kind of cute. So. My fiance say, said it was cute, so I hung it up. And finally, uh, it, on the bottom, it came with these little hooks, and it's perfect to hang all of my different Cricut tools. So I love this. It's so perfect. It's really cute in this space. It fits great, and it's also really functional for all my Cricut stuff. And finally, moving over, I just have a lamp. I think I've had this since I was like 10, honestly. It's just moved from house to house with us, but it works for its purpose. And then lastly, I have a little cup with just like Cricut pens in here, extra scissors, um, stuff I use when I'm Cricuting. And I always do my Cricuting on here um, so that if it messes up or anything, this desk is oak, so it's okay if it's a little messy. So I'm gonna take a step back. The two closets back there are full of just things, basically. Um, we call it our Mary Poppins closet, basically because this is the only storage in almost the whole one apartment. So suitcases, um, extra Tupperware bins, we even have a cat tree shoved in that thing. Like it is all of our storage. Uh, so that's why it's all in there. But recently my parents are moving, so they've been giving me some of 
like their old things that they don't want and we're running out of storage. So that's what you see all under here. So that's like Christmas supplies. Um, that bin is stuff I'm trying to sell. That bin is stuff I'm trying to give away. So it does have some organization, but it looks cluttered, but that's just, I mean, what happens? We're in a two bedroom apartment, there's limited storage and we keep getting more things from my parents. So that's where it goes, <laughs> but it works and that's all that matters. And lastly, this is the other desk chair I used to have in my office um, before that we got this one. But like I said, this one was free. So that one just sits there. Um, I'm sure it'll get used once we have a house one day. That's why we haven't gotten rid of it, but it just sits there. And finally, there's this uh, really big four filing cabinet. We got this for free. My parents got it for free and brought it over here for us. So I'm super thankful for that. And then I just um, made these like DIY little cards that I put in here for me and my fiance and our stuff. I'm not gonna go through that. Obviously it's personal information, but that's what it is. And this is the only area it fits. So again, everything looks really kind of shoved in here, but we do the best that we can for the storage that we have. And lastly, up at the top, this is just a bin I've had forever. And it has different like planner totes, my work bag, my purse. So it's just kind of bags, if you will. Moving over, we have a really big window out to the back of the apartment so you can see this field, which is pretty nice because we do see animals back through here, like deer, cats, foxes, squirrels, birds, and the cats will sit up here and actually watch, which is really pretty cool. So it's nice that we have a backyard. And then this is just the cat's feeding station. I'm not going through that. <laughs> and lastly, the litter box. And then this uh, we got and DIY'd and fixed up and it just has uh, extra school stuff in it. I really ideally would like to get rid of this, but for now the cats have associated this to their feeding station. So that's honestly why we keep it. But I have a feeling when we move, I'll probably get rid of this and the cat's water. And lastly, <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but the reason we only have one curtain is because we had another one over there, but it was like getting in the way. So we just have one and it works and it is what it is. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna quickly pan the room so that you can see it kind of in slow motion. If you have any questions on any of the things I showed you, put them below and then I will try my best to give you links. Um, like I have said a million times, um, we have fit as much in here as you can possibly tell. This is me standing in the corner. So we've really shoved a lot in here and I'm really excited for when we buy our own home and have like a designated office space and I don't have to share it with the cats and I don't have to share it you know, with storage and all that kind of stuff. Originally this room was supposed to be a second bedroom, but we really didn't have, we had a futon, but we didn't really have the, um, the space anywhere else to put an office. My fiance actually really wanted a desk, so her desk is actually out there in a tiny little corner. This girl, her cage is like, as big as this table so it takes up all of our space out there and she's not she doesn't go in the cage during the day at all but it's just up in case people that come over and she needs to be put away but it takes up a lot of space she's 100 pounds of all love but she takes up a lot of space as you can see there's the limited limited space here to walk through um, but I love it I'm honestly very 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 blessed this office has come together bits and pieces I'm so 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 blessed for all the stuff that has come and I know I'm very spoiled. Uh, most people don't even have anything like this. So I'm very thankful to anyone who's contributed to this as well as the time it's taken to kind of put this together. And if you like these kind of videos, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. And make sure you subscribe to my channel to see more planner, office, all that good kind of stuff. All right guys, I hope you have a wonderful day.